morning and welcome to the beautiful Chiron. No, seriously, seriously, I'm being serious today. Uh, no sarcasm. It is a beautiful day. The sun has finally decided to shine and we have some blue skies and uh, it's, a, it's a beautiful day. Um, yeah, I thought I'd give you a, a little catch up, have a little chat. The day's not started off how I expected to, <laughs> how I expected it to. Um, yeah, I did hope to do some work today for a customer, some paid work. Uh, I was out all day working for a customer yesterday, talk about that in a second. And uh, yeah, I was hoping to do some work today as well, but I haven't heard back from them. So that, I assume they're, uh, they're busy doing something. Uh, so that's thrown me a bit of a curveball. Do you ever get those days where you, you kind of plan to do something and uh, it doesn't quite work out and you're a bit all over the place thinking, oh right, what are we gonna do now then? Not quite sure how the day's gonna pan out. So the garden is looking pretty good. Uh, I came out and <laughs> cut the grass again. Again, talk about that in a second. Yeah, the garden's looking pretty good and uh, it would be the perfect summer's day if it wasn't uh, for the uh, French Air Force flying around. Uh, as it's Tuesday, they fly around the Charente, basically disturbing the peace. Um, yeah, and uh, making, live, uh, making the lives of people just a little bit noisier. in the living room yesterday afternoon and there was a bang on the window. Have you ever had a bird fly into the window, into one of your windows before? God, it freaks you out. And uh, yeah, this poor little barn swallow uh, collapsed on the floor and uh, I kept an eye on him out the window for about 20 minutes and he was still there and I thought, oh, he's a goner. And then when I opened the door, he flew away and I was like, yes. Go on, mate. I don't know how many lives birds have. Should they get nine lives like cats? I doubt it. Yeah, so the day's gonna be a bit of a strange one. So I thought I'd take a bit of time out to uh, enjoy the sunshine. I've got a thousand jobs to do, which I'm slowly making my way through that list. Um, but sometimes you've just gotta stop. Yesterday was ridiculously busy and I just as usual did a bit too much and uh, you know I spent the day mowing for someone and then had a little bit of energy left when I got home and decided to uh, run the uh, mower through the orchard so uh, yeah I kind of if you ever think you deserve a day off no one deserves a day off do they so I nipped out this morning to the post office I had a card in my letterbox from last week and uh, picked up my little carburetor for my strimmer. So uh, I've got that to play with, uh, but to be honest with you, I'm probably more confident taking my car to pieces than I am taking a strimmer to pieces. Not quite sure about that, that's quite strange, isn't it? Familiarity, I guess. And uh, I also picked up some tomato plants. Now I know I'm not eating that kind of stuff. I'm not eating fruit, I'm not eating vegetables, I'm not eating potatoes or carrots. Uh, What's that for about three weeks now? And I've got to be honest, I am feeling better. It's very strange, hard to explain. It goes against everything that you're taught, isn't it? But yeah, I am feeling, I'm feeling pretty good. So I did decide to run the mower over my uh, garden again, uh, in a slightly different direction. And um, I noticed that if you look closely, I've got some grey patches. It's like it's like my lawn is going grey, and um, yeah, not good. What that is, going to be a bit nerdy. If you're interested in this kind of thing, I kind of like a neat lawn, as you know. And um, when there's an issue, I need to kind of deal with it. You have to identify the issue. I, I just wandered down to my uh, bottom paddock. Yeah, if you look closely at the grass, you'll see that it's not cut properly. It's frayed. So uh, there's a blade issue, could be a blunt blade, but um, what I'm thinking is one end of the blade 
is at a slightly different angle to the other end of the blade so I need a new blade problem is that particular lawnmower is kind of on its last legs and um, I kind of need to replace my little electric mower which um, is the last thing I need to be doing right now because what was highlighted yesterday is that I actually do need I do need a ride-on mower yeah I spent hours and hours and hours mowing for a customer and um, yeah he's he's looking at me thinking why haven't you got a tractor and I'm thinking well you've lived here for 70 years mate why haven't you got a tractor <laughs> now if the Air Force wasn't flying around this would be some kind of paradise my little nature reserve Sounds amazing, doesn't it? Um, yeah, did get a bit of a, a flyby by the Air Force earlier. Thought he was going to crash into a field. Obviously, we'll want that to happen. Um, yeah, I thought I'd uh, mention something political. And I don't normally do that. But, um, yeah, something interesting occurred yesterday, didn't it? And uh, I didn't really make any notes about what to talk about. Other than Nigel Farage has decided to stand as an MP. He's quite a divisive character. Now I don't actually pay too much attention to politics because I realised not long before I moved to France that it's all theatre. It's all theatre for the masses, isn't it? Because since when did any change in government result in your life getting any better or cheaper? And uh, I think people are starting to realise it's all a bit of a game <laughs> and uh, we always lose. Um, and I'm not sure things will be any different with Mr Farage involved, or more involved, should he win a seat in the election. Um, but I do kind of think that he's a bit like Trump in a way, that he does actually, he does actually think about the people in the country where they live. And I don't actually think generally politicians do care too much about the people in the country that they live. So yeah, it'd be uh, interesting to get some comments on that, actually. What do you make of that nonsense? As for the Reform Party, yeah, I smell a rat. I tend to notice things. I tend to notice things that most people don't notice. And um, sometimes not all is as it seems. So going back to this mower and ride on mower situation, what I've been looking at is some bits and pieces I've got around the house that I don't use um, and wondered if I could sort of do a bit of a fundraiser by selling a few bits and pieces that I don't need, don't use. That chair that I was cleaning last week, um, yeah, I needed to find a new adapter for that, which I got off of Amazon, and that now works as an electric reclining seat. Now, that chair cost over a thousand euros when it was new, and uh, I've been storing it in the house since I've owned the house, and uh, so I'm guessing that's probably. 10 or 11 years old now but that's got to be worth it's got to be worth 100 quid isn't it or maybe more and i was also thinking about should i be trying to raise some money to buy a ride on mower my chipper that i used extremely hard work to use but very effective and i used it to uh, clear a lot of the rubbish around my field and i've kind of I've kind of finished with it and there's probably about 400 quid just sitting there not being used so I could probably sell that and I've got a laptop in a box that I got free with a mobile phone about three years ago um, so I could probably sell that so I could probably do a bit of a fundraiser and um, with the help of all, all my amazing supporters I could probably find myself in a situation where yeah I could get myself a mower a ride on mower um, just got to work out how long it would take to repay what it would cost and try and get into that business mindset just to give you a little update on my tooth if you were interested because it just occurred to me that I've just paid it off my crown my dental treatment that I had last year yes I've paid off my credit card bill and um, is it time to go out there and <laughs> you know use the credit card again anyway they're the things that are on my mind today I hope all is well the sun is shining uh, the weather is supposed to be like this all week with threat of thunderstorms 
for a couple of days. Um, but you yeah, know, we're going to enjoy the sunshine and uh, we'll see how long it lasts. I hope all is well. Take care. Bye.